Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pavel Stanley and this is part of a crash course on Principle for Mac. Principle is a great tool for creating UI animations and interactions. On this session, we're going to learn how to do a simple drag and drop interaction. Drag and drop. Pretty cool, pretty simple. I think you're gonna love it. So yeah, let's go ahead and do it. So on this lecture, I'm going to teach you how to create a really simple drag and drop animation. And it's going to look something like this. This is how your principal file is going to look at the end. And let me show you in the preview how it's going to look. So you're going to drag and, and then you drop it and then it turns into that. Uh, let's preview it again. You drag, you drop it and then it does that. And yeah, so let's go ahead and I'm going to close this. I'm not going to save it. And here on have a sketch file where I designed the three different states. And you can find this sketch file on the description of this video on the resources. And let me explain to you what I have here. So I have three different states. One is uh, how the uh, dragon animation starts. It's just like you have a drag draggable element and then uh, an area where you drop this uh, element. And then also there's a state where this element changes. Uh, it, it has a shadow and it also the Y position changes and then you start dragging it just so it, it gives the appearance that you're being, uh, you're picking it out of the uh, floor, out of the uh, surface. And that's why it has a little bit of a shadow. And then the third state, it's how it turns this circle, it turns into a square and it's, it's being dropped in the area. Okay, so enough talk, let's actually do this. So I'm going to go on principle, I'm going to create a new file, and I'm going to, let me make this bigger, and I'm going to import the file. <coughs> there you go, I have these uh, the three different states here. Uh, I start with this, and then I go here, and then over here. So the first thing I want to do is make this draggable. So I'm going to make this, I'm going to, here in this picture, instead of static, I'm going to say drag horizontal and drag vertical. And I'm going to do the same with this state. I'm going to say drag and drag. And then from here, I'm going to add an event from here to here. And this event is not a tap, it's not a scroll, it's anything. It's actually the touch down. That means that you're uh, you're touching the uh, this element uh, with your uh, cursor or with your finger. So I'm going to add this event and it moves here. And then <clears throat> over here, I'm going to add another event to this uh, screen, and this one is going to be the touch up when you stopped uh, uh, touching this element. So I'm going to drag this event over here, and let's uh, let's take a look at it. So over here, as you can see, I can start dragging, but let's go back to the home. It starts here, and as soon as I start uh, dragging, see how the element moves, and I can start dragging it, and then once I, uh, I stop uh, having my uh, my cursor uh, dragging or, or touching, it just turns into this. And it obviously turns into this because, for example, this uh, circle, which is called dragger, over here, this square is also called dragger and has the same color. So this circle turned into this square. And then this guy, which is the dropper, turned into this guy, which is the same, has the same name, but it has a different color. So let's go ahead and, and see it again. Once I touch down, this element moves at the shadow, I can see the shadow, and then if I drag it, anywhere if I drag it, but just for the simulation, I'm going to drag it here, and then it turns into that. And then I'm going to add an event that takes me back to the same, just so I, I don't, I'm not touching on this. So I'm going to say tap, and then it takes me back here. So now it, it, turn, it goes back, and then it drag and drop, do the same, drag and drop. And yeah, that's uh, how you uh, make a simple drag and drop animation. Let's do something um, something extra. I also want this to rotate when, uh, when it's being touched up. And not only that, but also I want the scale to change from one to 1.2. So it feels like it's closer to the screen. And also the rotation angle is going to be uh, minus 15. So let's test it out. So see how it feels like I'm dragging it and, and I'm picking it from the floor and then it drops again and drops. It's uh, pretty simple, pretty easy, but it creates a really nice and cool effect. 
So hopefully this helps you on your uh, drag and drop uh, animations and you can create cool stuff like this. Mm -hmm.